Hi, I'm Katie and welcome to my channel. In this video today, it's going to be a little bit of an interesting one. I'm actually heading off to a local fish auction here in Brisbane and I've got no idea what to expect because I've never been to an auction in general, let alone a fish auction. So it should be interesting. I thought it'd be fun to bring the camera along and do a little bit of videoing so you can check it out with me. So let's get going. And it is an afternoon auction, so before I head off, let me give these guys a little bit of food so they don't fight. Okay, so I'm just at the fish auction and we went in and it turns out that it's cash only. I didn't know that, but I didn't think to get cash out, so I ended up bidding on a fish and then I didn't realise I was meant to go and pay for it straight away, which makes sense. I don't know why I didn't realise that. <laughs> um, so I just had to go to Dan Murphy's and get some cash out and we got a fair bit of cash out between the two of us um, to spend. So yeah, I'll go get my fish. So I just thought I'd show you the fish that are up for auction. We're up to where? Which one? Up to Guppies. Up to Guppies. So we're up to there. And it's been, what, like four hours? I'm not good with time. Four yeah, hours. Four hours. Yeah. And we're only up to Guppies, which is in... I. <laughs> so got a, way, got a ways to go. All right, we've got a pea puffer for a hundred dollars. Got a hundred, hundred. hundred hundred and two, hundred and four, hundred and six, hundred and eight. I'm not going to compete. Hundred and eight, one inch, there's three. There's another guy at the back who like one. One inch, all right, we'll keep going. 110, 112, 114, 116, 118, 120, 122, 124. Sold for 124. I know. Would you like? <laughs> but I swear one, some people two, do like five for 500. 44, 46, 48, 50. $50 sold for them. Got a 236. Sold for 127. They did the pants down, the ribs. Back up. So, I just thought I'd show you quickly too these easy stackers that Graham's got here. These are his little invention that he's made for bristle nose plecos. Really cool. So, I came over because I was just attracted to the way that they look because I think it's really aesthetically pleasing seeing how the blocks all line up and everything and really nice colours as well. But they don't just look good, they also serve a very important purpose. For about 30, 35 years, 40 years, depending on which country you're from, there's been very little innovation on the ceramic cave. So what we've been trying to do at Easy Caves or Easy Aqua is to allow the hobbyists to remove the cap easily, to let the female out if they're trapped by the male in the wrong way, uh, if you want to get your babies out as such, and something that's a little bit more fun, because at the end of the day, if it's just a cave on its own, you can't really do much with it. Whereas with this, you can be as creative as you want. We've got the rail system here, so any cave can be swapped. And because of this particular uh, rail system uh, distance from the front, every cave will have an equal distance on the uh, pleco and stacker systems themselves. So you can do anything you want. As we say, uh, one of our themes that we're going with in sale is build it your way. So anything you want to do in terms of the layout, shape, we're going to have more colours, more shapes, more sizes. We're going to have aquascaping part of it as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've got this really cool gimmick. I'll show you this one really quick. So we got these feeding arms. So you know, zucchini, cucumber, they all float. So imagine you just hook it in there and it stays in place and it's fun and all the babies come in and you can have two feeding arms, three, whatever you want. Well, 
thank you so much for showing me these and having a bit of a chat about them. I think it's a really awesome invention that you've got here and I think it's going to be very, very popular. Well, it already is. It's Australian. Yeah, that's awesome. And you ship overseas though too. Yes, yes, yeah. we absolutely do. Uh -huh. All right, so Adrian and Tony are heading off now and before they go, I just thought I'd show you some of the little deals and stuff that they got. So let's have a little look. Um, maybe we'll start with the driftwood because that was pretty good. So $21 for this piece of driftwood. Do you want to hold it up so you can see how big it is? It's, um, pretty good for $21. That's amazing. That's, that's Tony's, I think. So yeah, good for fish hiding it and stuff. It's beautiful for $21. They're the um, wild baiter. Oh yeah, nice. That um, Tony's got there. Do you know how much you paid for them? Yeah, I think I think around about fifty. Yeah, and then um, the rainbows there. Um, what are they? Hamana, Reno, Reno. So it's oh. another another bag of the same. Yeah. Oh, they'll be really nice when they colour up a little bit. Yeah. Might be a K actually. Kamana. Yeah. So they'll be really pretty. And then I've got uh, and I got some lacustrous rainbows, the blue ones, the turquoise. Uh -huh. And are you going to breed them? Yeah, I'm definitely yeah, going to like breed them. They're going to go into the um, uh, the Sturby tank, uh -huh. the six footer, tonight when we get home. But apparently it's not going to finish till 12 o'clock, so we're going to leave a little bit earlier than that. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, here's my chauffeur. That's why I'm not allowed to stay. <laughs> Beautiful. Thought I'd show yeah, you what they got, the and you're going to head off now. And yeah, we're do going some to head back stuff. to the coast. It was great first time I've been here, so um, really enjoyable. Heaps of really cool people. Yeah, no, it's been good. Still going strong, only halfway through, I think. Yeah, yeah. midnight or something is going to finish, so yeah, well, too late for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, up to end. Oh. Yeah, yeah, getting there. And these are some books available too, wow. so I believe in rainbows. <laughs> Gavin's the guy that drew all my He's the illustrator for the book. Oh, you are? Well yeah, that's me. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Thank you. And so Gavin? Yes, What's Gavin. it, Gavin? Okay, yeah. so this is Gavin, who's actually illustrated the book, so there you go. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. How cool. And so is the author here as well? Sorry? Is Steve? Ah. He's the auctioneer. Oh, no way. Well, there you That's go. That's why he's telling you to buy the books all the time. Oh. <laughs> so I just found out too that the auctioneer is the author of the book, so there you go. It makes sense that the book's here then. That's really cool. Really nice. All right, we're still here, and it is currently 12.35 a.m. in the morning. Um, I'll show you how many people are here, but the lights also went off. No one could work out how to turn the lights back on. So, very interesting. Brad, sorry, but just on. All right, that is $80. Four bags of $20 each. These are all just chilling here in the dark, right. buying fish things. <laughs> what would you like now? All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. So a little update, um, we've been kicked out, so everyone has to leave. It's um, quarter to one in the morning, so I guess it makes sense why they want us to leave, but also, I mean, with the mic off and stuff, it's not like it's that noisy and everything here, but I guess people want to go home and everything too. So I think that we're going to move outside and maybe just finish off there, because some people have fish that they want to sell. Um, but yeah, it's very, very late. <laughs> This is quite funny. We've now moved outside. Nick's just trying to sell all of his fish that he's got left over. So we're just kind of doing our own thing. He's his own auctioneer now. Okay, I have adult angels, sapphire blue. I have them reserved at 100 bucks. Is it 50 bucks each? I'll give you 150 for both. Sure? Yep. Thank you. Yeah, that was quick. I don't know, Richard. Emily Brokers, Corey's, five of them. They're going to join the fish. No, no, no. So, is this behind the scenes, eh? Keeping fish simple behind the scenes. <laughs> Yeah, 
just got home from the fish auction and it is currently 10 past 2 in the morning. So that was not what I expected. I did not think that it was going to be such a long night, but it was really fun even though it went really late and I did get some fish. So I'll show you all of the fish that I got so you can check them out. I have the first guy that I got, which I'm keen to get in the quarantine tank. So I got this beautiful African cichlid. It is very difficult to see. Um, they did have quite a few African cichlids at the auction, so Lake Malawi ones, but some of them were a little bit too big for my tank. So I've got this guy, which is beautiful. I also have these really, really nice laser quarries. They're gorgeous. So I got these ones from Nick at the end of the night when we were all outside. Um, so it was definitely worth waiting around. I got them for a really, really good price and they're beautiful gold laser quarries. I also got some whiptail catfish too. So these ones are from Nick as well at Keeping Fish Simple. So got these guys. Then I just got some Java fern for 10 bucks and uh, some hornwort as well. I'm going to put into my sump um, of my peninsula setup. And that is everything. Hopefully, it was enjoyable or entertaining in some way. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like, comment down below, let me know what you think if you've ever been to a fish auction as well, if that's how they tend to go. And if you're enjoying my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel too if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.